didn't get the whole gist of it. What did you? Uh... <laughs> did tell you what you said. Uh, I said essentially that people just um, they need to not react negatively uh, or defensively <laughs> if somebody says, you know, I find that a little bit annoying. Could you please not do that? Exactly. Yeah, they get defensive. They get defensive. It's like they're doing, they're being rude to you, or being uh, saying something that they shouldn't be telling you. This is why are you telling me this? Because there's, because they're, it's bothering you. It's bothering somebody, and they feel that well, you're already annoyed as it is because of what they're doing. It is it your, is it they're they're exposing yourself, exposing you to something. I guess the people can argue they're you're letting it affect you, and they're not the cause of it. Well, they are perhaps not the cause of, of why it affects you, but they're causing the problem. Right. And uh, I think part of resolving it, of course, would be your approach, whether you come on as being uh, angry or whether you come on as being... Uh, not apologetic, but uh, polite. Uh, you know, I'm, maybe you don't realize it, but I find that you know you're clicking that pin all the time is annoying. Could you please stop? Mm -hmm. Rather than turning around and saying, "Stop clicking that dang pen." <laughs> yeah, which is I have a I have a habit of, of being a little bit uh, come across a little bit demanding like that, and it's going to get them into a confrontational. Uh, view of oh, you're you're just being you're just being mean to me and you're just being arrogant. They don't realize that they were you're saying that just because they the ones that caused it, you know. And so now, I I know a colleague that is very sensitive to noise and wears earplugs on occasion uh, when the office starts getting very noisy. Uh, it's in the earplugs. Right. Yeah, and it's just one way to deal with it. I have to put on music or a DVD player and sit there, put on headphones and get myself out of the, my own little environment, which is what I sometimes do in the library or any kind of public place. Mm -hmm. What I don't want to be dealing with people. I, I knew a guy that had to do that. Just he, he didn't want to talk to somebody, so he went and put on his earplugs and then he turned his back on the person. And, I guess that's one way to do it, and it can be rude, I guess, but... Yeah, and sometimes that's what it takes, is being rude, but most of the time I think people will respond more positively if it's presented in a positive, uh, non-confrontational manner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, and I find the only ones that I really understand is have family members or friends with that problem. If I far, far few between do I find that, though. Yeah. You know, um, but um, and of course, different people have different sensitivity levels to sound or temperature, uh, things like that. Temperature, uh, if it, it is not if does affect me as much as the, this problem. But temperature in a room, if it's too hot, then yeah, I'm gonna look for the ther the thermostat to change it to the, the cold. You know, I'm gonna, but. Uh, I think maybe pe people are feel, uh, more uh, annoyed by the temperature than what I'm talking when we're what we're talking about the noise level. You know, I, the temperature. Lots of times, like they're only on this floor. They're like there's a thermostat. One thermostat controls yeah. the whole side. There's nothing you can do about it. It controls all the rooms. On one side of the so somebody doesn't like the temperature, they're going to change it, and then it's going to affect everybody else. And then most of the thermostats are locked for that precise reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you yeah. notice in the classrooms they all have covers. Yeah, though you don't want anybody messing with it. Yeah, it's all one temperature to accommodate everybody, I guess. Well, yeah. And uh, it's not an individual control issue. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, let's let me check the time on this thing. How much time have we spent over here? I don't know, it's been a while. Let's uh, continue on for a minute. We'll stand by, we'll take a little short little break. 
Okay, well, we're back, and it's been 13 minutes. We're gonna do another seven minutes, and... But, uh... Yeah, it's, um... It's a major problem, mental... And I don't think it can be labeled as, as just mental illness, because... Um... I think a lot of people are affected by it, and, and they've learned to maybe fake it, or not uh, show people their inner self. Uh, you know, they've done. A, they may have different methods of coping, uh, where they either, as you said, put uh, earplugs in or um, put the finger in there. <laughs> yeah. Or do something. Re uh, something in response. I mean, if somebody's clicking a pen, maybe the other person's going to start tapping the table. In yeah. response to that, I had a guy in a bus who did that to me. He was uh, doing something. He was fidgeting with his thumbs, and he could see that it was uh, uh, bothering me. So he started, and when I, I was, I, well, I went and closed my eyes because I was just going to go to sleep, take a nap on the bus. He went and started whistling on the bus after he saw me close my eyes. He intentionally wanted to instigate something. Now that's, that's that's somebody that. That uh, obviously this is, he knows of, is aware of these if these people's problems and he's instigating um, a problem. So uh, what do you do with those people like that? I mean, you're gonna go out. The police is not. You know, the nobody's gonna patrol. Uh, I guess the him. No one's gonna regulate people like that. You know, and and I think I think it's just as important as, as a as a you know physical harm to somebody, you know, you're doing a mental uh, damage. Yeah, and it may be that it, what it would require would be that uh, that you move away from that person if possible, uh, that uh, you physically remove yourself from the presence. However, in the classroom, it's a little difficult. Yeah, it's very, yeah, it's difficult. You can't, you can't go left, you can't go right, you can't go up. You know, you can't fly out of your classroom. Right. I mean, <laughs> you gotta excuse yourself. Maybe go to the restroom, but yeah. but then you're not gonna or, learn. They're not gonna learn what you. Or can try do. to focus even more on the professor. And but sometimes when that starts uh, happening, it, your brain just focuses on the noise and not on what you want to focus on. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, you. You just gotta. You know, it's. And then you're not learn you're not learning anything, and it's actually you, you, the person uh, that's not gonna uh, co um, help you uh, stop with the noise. He's taken away the your learning process. He's just taken away uh, something from you. You're learning, and he doesn't even realize it. You have to really be analytically analytical with it. You know. They have no reasoning ability. They're, 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 they're delve into their own little world, you know, and it's sad. Uh, it's disappointment, though, you know. But I really do think that most, the vast majority, don't really realize what they're doing. Right? No. But there are very few that are purposely out there to annoy people. <laughs> yeah, I like to know the numbers, you know. I like to know the statistics of it. Uh, because then, then I can prove here, here's the statistics, you know. I wouldn't have any clue, but yeah. probably somewhere somebody's <laughs> done a study. <laughs> yeah, and so I'm going to pinpoint that those people and, uh, you know, will, you know, expose it. You know, this is not, this is important. I wouldn't, you know, this is not trivial, people. You know, this is important to society. You know, this is part of, we're in our childhood phase. I mean... Seriously, there's two uh, for the micromanaging that that they do in in some of these colleges. They sure they sure don't understand the very basics of uh, of uh, common courtesy. Uh, you know, the policies. They sure have a lot of policies that cover everything else except the human uh, condition, the the problem with the human nature. You know, and. Uh I think all the humans <laughs> have something. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. You know, kind of a, a personal annoyance, a pet peeve, if you want to call it that. Yeah, that's um, very uh, minute, uh, basic description, yeah, I think. Yeah. And it can affect you adversely, of course, but it. Uh,